When it comes to crafting legendary spheres, you're gonna need certain materials to do this. These are the four materials. And then we're gonna find out how to get these materials. Here we go. For when, when it comes to paladin fragments, you need stone plus a crusher, and then you get fragments. You need stone for mining, and you need the crusher with a watering pal that will water it. Next, for the pal metal ingots, you need ore and fragments plus the furnace. You're gonna be using a lot of fragments. All right, so these are the materials. All right, let's get into some carbon fiber. This is the more trickier one. You have two options, coal or wood. When it comes to wood, you're gonna need to turn it into charcoal and it costs a lot more materials than coal. Coal is two while wood is 10 per one carbon fiber. All right. When it comes to cement, this one takes a load on you, okay? You're gonna need some grazing pal suit sears and kelp seas, or you can buy it from a merchant. They're fairly expensive though, so keep that in mind. You're gonna need a lot of stone, and you need HQ benches, high quality benches, to make them. Okay, let's get into some visuals. This is the base that you're gonna try and get. Not exactly, but you're gonna need a lot of stations, mining nodes, benches for the cement, all right? Transport pals. We're gonna get into passive soon and a bunch of crushers. Okay, along with the benches obviously Or the assembly line so you can make the spheres, but that's obvious. Okay, you're gonna need some stone pits Okay, lots of these are maxed out These are in addition to the crushers. These are refrigerated crushers You need an ice pal to do this and you can use ore to make fragments. This is only if you need more fragments Right, you're gonna need some regular crushers Right watering pals are good for these um, and just as many as you can pop out so you can have an endless supply. Technically endless supply, you just gotta keep on revisiting here and there. Alright, next. So these are the assembly lines. You only need number one or number two, doesn't matter. I like to use number one because it's smaller. And because my powers are level four at the very least and god rolled when it comes to work speed, we're talking 115 or 100 work speed, flat, without the uh, need for, you know, food and whatnot and ascension they can handle it. Now these are called a cement wheels. I use cement wheels in a pattern with a barrel in the center. Pals that make the cement will just put it in there. And cement is very taxing. Okay, very very taxing. Lots of materials. These are the pal ingots with the furnace and these are the suit sears and the kelp seas in a ranch. Now for the food, I recommend salad or pizza and don't put any farms. You don't want your water pals getting distracted, okay? Just grab some food from another base. You, you should be endgame at this point, so this is technically what you should be, you know, doing at the very least. Not the exact layout, but at least have the same, you know, machinery, obviously. And you see that these, these things are already maxed out, right? Passives, transport, when they are dark, put on nimble, legend, runner, and swift. Not dark, put on the same thing, except cancel out nimble for nocturnal. See these guys? They're carrying a lot of stuff. We're talking 40 plus. So, when it comes to non-dark pals, work speed, you're gonna look at NAWS, N-A-W-S. When it comes to dark pals, you're looking at LAWS, L-A-W-S, Lucky Artisan Work Speed and Serious. Alright, that's about it guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, my name is Jess, please leave a like and subscribe, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. This is how you make legendary spheres, peace!